Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another Prime Time series player. Welcome back to the series. We're going to be doing a Prime Icon at David Trezeguet. We're going to be going through his details, his stats, uh, his traits, the icon profile, the clips that we usually go through and the summary at the end. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this series so far, if you're enjoying it and who you'd like to see me do next. Without further ado, let's get into the review. This is the team I used David Trezeguet in and played him at the point of attack in a 4-3-1 ahead of Deco, who also will be getting a review. Um, on the face of it, guys, at the start of this review, I will say this card is absolutely brilliant. I loved using him. The only thing that lets him down is his pace. Um, he was really, really fun to use overall, guys, and really, really great card. Getting into the card, 6-2, medium low work rates, right footed, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, uh, 7 games played, although 2 of them were lag outs, so I don't count them, so we're going to say 5 games, 13 goals and 1 assist, so he really did pack a punch for me in these games, he was absolutely sensational for me, um, really really great there. Um, guys, as well, the work rate's really good. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, really good as well. Um, he's not the quickest on the skills, but with the weak foot, it's really useful because he can just ping them off with either foot when you get in and around the box. Uh, in terms of chemistry tasks, guys, I would use something to boost his pace and dribbling or his pace and passing. Catalyst would suit him well. Engine would suit him well. I know I keep saying the same ones every week. Artist would do him a lot of good as well. Um, but uh, whatever you guys fancy, but I wouldn't boost the shooting or the physicality. Those are both absolutely fine. Getting into his attribute details, and this is where you see the key pros and cons of this card. Um, 92 heading accuracy, sensational. 96 finishing, 93 shot power, 95 attack positioning, 93 volleys. Um, those are all the key stats, and that's a lot of stats to take in. But guys, honestly, he is phenomenal when it comes to finishing the ball. Um, really, really impressive in all facets of finishing, except for long shots. So he's a bit dodgy there. But overall, I would say this card thoroughly impressed me with his shooting and finishing from distance as well. Um, getting into some of his cons, of course, his acceleration is a bit of a letdown, but you can mask that with a chemistry style. Um, his agility and balance are, of course, another thing as well. But again. You don't have to use him as a dribbling striker, uh, use him as a target man, a front man to play off. He wins the headers off the goalkeeper kicks as well, so he's very good in the air, um, really usable in that regard as well. Getting into the traits, he has the power header trait. Uh, it would have been nice to have a finesse shot trait, but he doesn't have that, unfortunately. Um, the power header trait, though, is still very good. You'll see a couple of headers in the clips that I got with him as well. And finally, getting into the icon profile, this was in the 2001 2000 two season with Juventus uh, where he scored 32 goals at the prime of his career. I will leave that for you guys to read in your own time um, and without further ado let's get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys getting into some of Deco and David Trezeguet's clips now and you'll see here from the first kickoff there David Trezeguet such a threat with the strikes from distance in and around the box um, guys he doesn't have the pace of an elite striker and that's something that really has to be stressed about this card is that Whilst he is very good at all the attacking facets of this game, he does not have pace. Um, so that does therefore take him what would be considered as slightly outside of the meta. However, guys, I do think that this card overall is a fantastic striker. I mean, there you can see a lovely ball, even though his passing isn't great. Um, a lovely ball there to Robin, unlucky with the finish. Again, picking the ball up here. How about this for a volley? So unlucky there to not put that away. Again here, picking the ball up. And I think, guys, what you have to remember about this card is, whilst he lacks speed, what he does have plenty of is strength, physicality, and just generally good playmaking for a striker. Um, it makes him incredibly fun to use, especially against those bigger centre backs, where you can kind of start to throw him around, uh, show your muscle a little bit, and hold them off. I mean, again, here creating a lovely chance, just unfortunate with the finish there. Um, now, from these first few clips, you might be thinking, why on earth are you using this guy if he can't finish any of these easy chances? And the truth is, guys, is that these are all just chances. I was super impressed that he got to the position for, that he created well. Again here, turning the man easily, unlucky with the finish there. Again here, lovely little finesse shot inside, makes a beautiful run. That attack positioning is really great on this card. Gets an opportunity, unlucky with the finish there as well. Um, but guys, when we do get into what his goals were like, you'll see he was absolutely fantastic um, for the most part. I mean, he didn't really, he missed some chances which I would have expected him to put away. But for the most part, he did really well um, with his overall chances and taking of the chances, etc, etc. Um, again, guys, creating another opportunity here. 
unfortunate there with the finish. I don't know what happened there. You know, I scored one around the keeper with a finesse shot earlier, so I assumed that would go in like that, but unfortunately it didn't. And now we'll get into some of his goals. And as you can see there, a great finesse shot there, and this is the other factor about him, because he's so tall, so strong, and what he's so well known for, guys, uh, from his time as a player is, of course, his heading ability and volleys ability. He is so, so good at finishing in and around the box. Doesn't matter the style of finish that you need him to pull off. He will pull it off. Again, there, look at that positioning. Great run there and a lovely little finish here around the keeper. Lovely finesse finish there as well. Again here, guys, he's not running, not running. Then he makes that sprint, gambles on the ball there. Lovely, easy volley for him again. Um, and that's something that's really phenomenal about this card, guys, is just his attack positioning. Again, they're taking up a great position in between the defenders and the goalkeeper there, picking up the ball, and it's an easy finish for him again with that 91 shooting. Again here, holding off the defender, great strength, left foot finish into the far corner. Um, overall, I thought, guys, this card was just really complete as a striker. He isn't the fastest, of course, but what he does lack in speed, he does make up for in just raw finishing ability, great height and execution of headers like that as well. Um, and I got a reasonable goal scoring record with him guys you saw some of the chances i missed if you get used to this card and how he plays you'll score a lot of goals with him in these last couple of clips again here the variety of finishes how is this for a volley a nice bicycle kick volley into the back of the net there and this final clip here again taking the ball there good run and a lovely finish into the far corner so guys if we get into the final david trezeguet summary um guys at the time of recording those clips and you'll have seen it in the initial summary that i did with him at the beginning of the video to now the price drop is insane so you guys can see 290 on the ps4 ps5 uh, 310 on the xbox x the xbox one 455 on the pc um this is super low four star screen moves four star weak foot again of course six two in height so that height really does offset the lack of speed there a very physically capable striker of course the key standout stats here finishing attack positioning and shot power really really powerful there um his heading accuracy as well absolutely phenomenal in terms of cons dribbling's not the best agility and balance both a bit slow there but uh, he does make up for it with his supreme shooting ability his jumping as well is a little bit weak and um, i would prefer if that was slightly higher then he could win more headers more capably but overall i thought this card was really really good for most parts of his game in terms of chemistry style guys i would be looking to do something with his pace of course and maybe his passing um his dribbling i don't think you can save that irrespective of what you put on him so maybe if you chuck a catalyst on him then all of a sudden you've got a good pace and a reasonable level of passing you can really start to link play up with that striker use him in a bit better and easier way then as well um of course you can boost the dribbling if you do feel like you'd rather boost that as well i would just prefer to always use my striker because of how i play i play as a link up man so i like his passing to be a little better hence i would choose that in terms of his price graph here guys we'll just go through that as well he was sitting here at around 318 when I bought him, and then, of course, he's dropped to 290, but the price has been dropping steadily, steadily, steadily. So this card is really cheap right now, and it would have been cheaper a few days ago. I would recommend you guys pick up this card around this time now, especially as the end of Team of the Year starts to approach. Prices are going to start going up again, um, and we're going to start seeing a rise in the markets just because of the shock that came with the drop in Team of the Year. Um, Going into similar style of players, guys, Benzema, a very good shout. Benzema may be a little more techy than this card here. Um, there are other cards, of course, that are quite similar. Maybe Romelu Lukaku. Um, I feel like it's a bit harsh because Romelu Lukaku is very, very stiff. But overall, I feel like their games are very similar in terms of using their size and power to score goals rather than a lot of speed. Um, apologies for the ads, guys. I am trying to get rid of them slowly but surely. Finally, getting into the links for this card. And of course, you have a whole bunch of links, especially to French icons. Um, Cantona, Zidane, Henri, uh, Vieira, Zidane, Makaleli, Petit, Desai. You've got all of them as well as loads of French players. You've got Mbappe, Ben Yedder, uh, linking up to midfielders as well. Freeze, Aouar. Uh, and other players like that. So you've got some really good options, of course, and a weak link to every other player too. Um, overall, a fantastic card, guys. I really, really would uh, like to recommend this card. I think it's really, really great, especially if you like a target man, a hold-up man, then this card could be really good for you. Um, would I recommend it overall to improve your team? No, I would not recommend it for that perspective. Um, if you purely just want a fun card to play with that isn't meta and scores some nice goals and is an overall good striker, then this card might do quite well for you. But overall, guys, I would not be recommending you pick this card up, but I hope you guys did enjoy our prime time review of him anyway. And without further ado, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Please do smash that like button. And until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.